Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video uh, I will talk about how you can add the custom columns to your data set. So for example we have this uh, air quality data set and uh, maybe our requirement is that uh, we want to decrease the temperature of the temperature column by 10% but we want, do not want to make adjustment in the current column, we want to preserve it but we want to add another calculated column which takes the value from the temp column and create the new value for each row. So, so basically how you can do that is first thing is applying the operation. So for example you want to apply the operation on temp column. So if you want to do that then uh, you need to first specify the data set air quality and then uh, you want for all rows then you put a comma because before comma you have rows values, after comma you have column values. So we want all the rows, that's why we don't specify anything in the row section, that means the first section. But in the second section, after the comma, what we want is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth column, then you'll say 4. If I just press enter, you will see that it will return a vector. And it has the value 67 for first row, 72 for second row, 67, 72, 74 all that value which is in the fourth column. So that's the first step to identify what we need to do and then we basically want to multiply the 10% that means 0 0.10. This is the thing we want to do if I hit enter. It, it does nothing but it gives us the 10% of this and then we want to further add it back the value to the fourth uh, column. So how to come do this entire operation and combine it over here uh, and then make it like a complete data set. So for that uh, what we will do is uh, let's say we want to create a new column in the air quality and the new column is temp underscore reduced underscore 10 percent. Maybe that's the column we want to create. And if you see, I have used the dollar sign. So this dollar sign is uh, basically helping us adding a new column to the air quality data set. And now what we want is, we want air quality fourth column and we want to multiply it by 0 0.10 and then we again want to add it back the air quality fourth column. So what it is doing, first it is creating the 10% value of the fourth column of air quality and then adding the total value of fourth column to the 10% value and that way you will have the uh, total value. So in that case you are basically adding, so that's something I need to uh, do it differently because I want to reduce it. So I will cut this and deduct the 10% information from the existing structure because we want to reduce it. So temp reduced by 10%. So first we are having the value of temperature which is this and then we are reducing it by air quality of fourth column of 10%. So if I hit enter, you will see that that's where I have the new value where all those temperature values which are reduced by 10% and values are populated in their respective columns or respective rows. And the new column is added which is temp underscore add underscore 10%. So that's how you can you can further modify your data structure and uh, make it more meaningful uh, as per your custom requirement and as per your business rules and definitions are. So that's quickly I wanted to show you how you can edit and modify your data set and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.